Once upon a time there was a photo station where things were very simple. You could keep a folder for your wife, keep for your uh, friend, keep a folder for yourself. And then Snowji invented moments and destroyed all this uh, thing. They destroyed the trust because they had to keep husbands and wives folders separate for some reason because there is something in secret. So people were waiting for moments to come out. Nobody really liked photo, uh, moments, so they were waiting for photos. So photos came out and the disappointment came in again, thinking like, well, it's supposed to be like a photo station. I want to link to the source on a public folder. And if there's something on a private folder, I'm going to make it private. So people were disappointed. They couldn't find But actually, the good news is there is an option. You can actually use photos up just like... Um, um, the, uh, photo station six after uh, photos, but not as good, you know. <laughs> Map filter is gone, and um, you need to now have this horrible uh, geographical textual sort of version of uh, browsing through your photos. It's horrendous. But anyway, there's a solution. So I'm going to show you how to um, link these sources from your public folder into your um, into your uh, photos up. So. Uh, there was a question as you see that asking that's not the only question is coming through asking how to set this up because it's not obvious it's quite complicated in the same way simple so what um you used to have you used to have uh, a separate shared folder of photos where the where you could have several folders underneath uh in that public folder which was linked to your photo station so when you go into photo station you could go through the folders and see um your stuff, someone else's stuff. And if you wanted, you can go into the settings and make this uh, folder um, private, put the password on it. You could share it, you could do what you want. Um, but then the moment made it um, very private <laughs> that you, if you wanted to share, uh, if you wanted to keep something on the public folder, you had to actually copy everything, duplicate, have the uh, files in two different places. That would be horrendous. But anyway, we're gonna have a look um, how, how to set it up. So. You will need to go to photos. You go to uh, this icon here, click settings, uh, go to shared space, and uh, there's going to be a button called enable shared space. I have already enabled, therefore I see disable option. So click enabled. What is going to do? It's going to create um, a shared folder folder here, just like um, it was with your photo station. So then whatever folders you put in there. It's going to be working similar with photo station. You will see those folders in your photos app. So you can switch between personal space and shared space. So shared space will mean that you go to uh, this uh, shared folder, which is photos and see those folders there. If you want to switch to your personal space, you'll see photos under your home, um, home photos. That, that, that's how it works. Um, but that, that's not it. So once you have enabled this, uh, shared space uh, option. Uh, after that, you go to albums, then click create album and set conditional set conditions to create an album. Because then you will have an option here for shared space, and then you'll see all albums appearing there. If you want to uh, import all of these folders, you just click OK. Don't don't click anything else there, and click OK, and then you will have your Mm, like photo station folder link to your photos. Voila, it's all done. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, you can uh, go to um, right inside the NAS compares, uh, fill the form, or send the email to info NAS compares, and uh, if the question will be interesting, we can shoot a video like this so we can help others as well. Cheerio.